All right, y'all, the snow's starting to melt. It's about two o'clock in the evening. About 31, 32 degrees with the sun's out right now. It's actually pretty nice. But all the ice and the snow is all starting to melt. I'm gonna go make a round in the back, see if I can find any hog signs. I'm gonna take y'all for a ride. Let's go back here and see what we can find. See what we can get into. It's snow still on the ground, but it's thawing out. So it's got slick spots and muddy spots. It'd be interesting, make it fun for a ride. It's a coyote track, y'all. Let's go see if we can find the hogs. tracks except for coyotes so far i ain't even seen a deer track i guess they crawled up in a hole right now i gotta see if i can find them all right y'all this is the first sign that i've seen so far it's hard to see in this ice but that is a hog track right there you see where he rooted up underneath this feeder and got a little bit of corn This is probably that long boar I was telling you about that we got pictured of one of them big boars. Here you can see his track a little better right here. There's a good shot of it right there. See how the points are rounded? That's my hand next to it. He's a good sized hog. I see where he went right in through here. That's where he come in and went out at. See, he just come to these feeders and hit these feeders. He'll find the corn over there. Get the old hog boss trap working. Get that gate to drop on him. He'll be coming. Let's go see if I see any sign anywhere else. This is one of our deer hunting places back here. We got a little friend of mine's got some corn out. He's been here, check it out. You see this feeder? He hadn't been able to tear this one up, but he's been gnawing on it. He comes by and knocks him some corn down and goes on. All right, guys, I made my round. I've been all over the back of these ponderosas over here from one end to the other. The main group of hogs have left. They're not in here right now. Some friends of mine hit them probably two miles from here on, an, on the other creek. Like I told y'all before, they travel from one creek to the other. Well, right now they're kind of 
staying on that uh, east side, well, the west side from here. They hit them with their dogs the other day, and they left, so I don't know which way they went, but they didn't head here for right now. But you got a lot of people starting to dog the hogs right now, and they're moving a lot. When they come into my area, nobody messes with them, and they'll find this feeder. Well, back there in the back where I just found that one sign of that big boar, we've got pictures of him before. That's either that spotted hog or that black hog. By his track, I'm not sure, but usually that's 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 usually a big boar by himself or a big bar hog. That's if if I'm not mistaken, that's the one that wouldn't go in that uh seed trap. Uh, they ate all the way to the door, eat the corn to it, and they turn around every time. I've got pictures of them doing it. But hopefully I'll get him to come into this uh hog trap over here. Guys, I got some people sending me some videos of my dogs baying, which I sold my two dogs, Jake and White. If I get them videos, I'm gonna put them in there in the end of this and let y'all watch a little bit of that. I can't watch none of the, can't show you none of the violent stuff, but I'll show you as much as I can. Well, guys, just made a big round. Let's head back to the house and see what else we can get into. All right, guys, I made it back to the house. Like I said, all I seen was that one sign of that one hog. And guys, check this hat out. They will be available on our Etsy store very, very soon. They're coming up. They're in the making right now. If you like these hats or some of the shirts that are on there, let us know. Let, you, let me know what colors, what y'all like. Leave it in the comments. And guys, this is a warning for what is going to happen in the rest of this video. I got two little clips that I'm fixing to put together of my dogs baying up a hog. Uh, I was not there with this guy. This is actually my nephew. He's the one that bought my dogs. And they bait up a hog. There's no blood. There's nothing bad. But I just want to warn you, the dogs are talking to the hog. God bless. If you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up and catch you on the next one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Hit them both. to you what was going on in that video they run across them hog tracks where they was uh they was riding in a uh, four wheeler they found the tracks they turned the dogs loose the dogs found the hog after they they run him for probably about a mile and then they stopped him what they do is they run up behind the hog and they'll bite him on the back end and that hog will spin around and then uh he'll turn around and try to fight the dogs well he'll keep breaking from them from them dogs until he gets in a place that he's he feels safe and he went down in that water in that creek and that way they can't them dogs have a hard time getting behind him that's what he tries to do he'll back up to something either a, a log or a tree or down in the water to where he can keep them dogs away from him and while the dog have the hogs attention my nephew come from behind the hog slid down the bank and caught the hogs by the feet and flipped him and pulled him out and then they harvested the hog is what they did the rest of it was cut out but that's what was going on. Y'all take care. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.